Exciting. Yeah, the game is fun, but we lose again. Mm, don't be sad because I broke that for you. Wow. wow, this is my favorite. Uncle, how do you know that I like so bread so much? Of course, I know that both of you love bread, mm. but don't eat it yet, huh? okay? Why? Because I have to go to buy something. Oh. You two wait here patiently, okay? Mm. Okay. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Pee mm. <sighs> pee. I know you are so hungry. Mm. Wait a minute. Pee pee. No no no. Please. Your dad said we should wait patiently. Only a bite. No, Pipi. You have to wait patiently. Okay then. But what will, will we do? While waiting, why don't we ask the, the children there to play with us? Oh, that's a nice idea. What okay. game? I have an idea. So, the game is called Brain Exercise. Oh, Brain Exercise. I think I know the game. So, what you have to do is open your right hand and then close your left hand. And then uh, and then you op when you open your left hand, you close your right hand. Okay. And then you make it like this. So, when you open, the Ooh. other one is closed. Open and So, close. they will take open third, and right? Open and yes. But we have to move it together. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think Slowly I can do it easily. And then get it Faster, faster, and faster, and faster, and faster, and faster. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, first at home, can you do this? I think they can do it very, very it's easy. easy, right? Yes. Now, I will give you another level. So, ooh. this one, I think it's more difficult than the, the first one. Okay. So, open your thumb. Okay. On your right hand. And then on your left hand will be your... Pinky or Ooh. tiny fingers. And All then right. when you open your left hand with pinky, your right hand will be thumb. Okay. And then going this one, like oh. this. I think it's a bit harder, G. Mm. But yeah. Can you do this guys? Ah, I make mistakes. Um mm. it's a it's a bit challenging. To balance our left and right hand. Yeah. But look, 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 look at me, Gigi. I can do this. Yes. It's cool. It's it's more fun. Yes. Can you do it, guys? But it's more challenging. Mm -hmm. I know. It's easy. Yeah. Still easy? Okay. Okay, I give you the hardest one. Whoa. 
All right. Two fingers. And then seven fingers. Okay. It's just like a shooting. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, so when you are so two hard, fingers Gigi. and the seven fingers, and then change it like this and this, oh. this and this. Ah, uh, I make eight. I can't oh. balance this. Why is it so hard? Wait, wait. Just be patient. Need you be. need to practice. It's okay. Okay. This? How about you? Fr oh no! Look at me. Just like me. How about eight. you, friends? Seven, you did the two. same thing with me. It's eight, not ah, two. Seven, seven? <gasps> seven. Okay, let's two. do this. Concentrate. Seven, two. Let's do it ah, faster, I can do guys. It faster. Whoa, look at me. Ah. I can do this. Guys, can you do it? I think friends at home can do it even, even easier than us, right? Good job. Hmm, good job, guys. But. Gigi, we already played, but my dad has not come yet. Where hmm. is he? Huh. Maybe uh. just call your dad. <sighs> dad, come on. Where are you? Why can't we have this now, please? We have to be patient, Gigi. Uh. Uh, how about, do you have a game in your room? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. told me that you have a new game. All right. Then we'll wait inside, okay? Okay. Hopefully, my dad will come. Yeah. Woohoo! Everyone, let's stand up. Let's Woo. praise Jesus together. One, two, three, let's go. An ending love in Calvary Show me amazing grace Yes Fears are gone and darkness fades In the light of your love You came to mend my broken heart Give me a joyful heart I found my place in Savior's grace From freedom in your grace Say, God is my joy God is my joy God is my joy With the music, I will praise you Dance in the beat of your love by the power of your freedom Dance in the beat of your love Oh, oh, over me I know your love is always over me Oh, oh, over me Your love is over me I'm free to dance Hey! You guys ready to dance for Jesus? You guys ready? Say yeah! Haha! <laughs> ready? Yeah? Are you ready to jump? In one, two, three, jump! We praise you, Jesus! With the music, I will praise you Dance in the beat of your love By the power of your freedom Dance in the beat of your love With the music, with the music I will praise you Dance in the beat of your love By the power of your freedom Dance in the beat of your love Shout Jesus! Jesus! You guys ready for more? Say yeah! Yeah! No more fear, no more doubt we Jesus 
by my side. Whoa, oh, oh, live by faith, not by sight. I believe in your word. Yeah, all things are possible when I believe. I can do all things through you, Lord. Whoa, oh, oh. I can do all things through you, Lord. Yeah, I can do all things through you, Lord. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you, Lord. Who gives me strength? All things are possible. If you believe that, come on, let's sing with me. No more fear, no more doubt. With Jesus by my side. Oh, oh, oh. Live by faith, not by sight. I believe in your word. Yeah. All things are possible when I believe you I can do all things through you Lord Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you Lord Yeah I can do all things through you Lord Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you Lord who gives me strength? All things are possible. We believe in you, Jesus. There's nothing possible with you, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Do you believe? There's nothing possible with Jesus, say! Thank you, Lord. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you, Lord. Yeah. I can do all things through you, Lord. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you, Lord. Who gives me strength? I can do all things through you Lord, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you Lord, yeah, I can do all things through you Lord, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I can do all things through you Lord, who gives me strength, all things are possible. God, thank you, Jesus. We believe in you, Lord. We believe in you, God. Let your love overflow in us, Lord. Go on, sing. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. I know that you love me so. I love your word that tells me to you I belong. Though I am weak, you are strong. Your hands so big, they carry me. Though I am weak, you are strong. Your hands so big, they carry me. True, you love me so much. True, you love me so. True, you 
love me so much, my heart just overflows. Put your hands on your heart and close your eyes. Know that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves us. Let's pray, Jesus. We want to love you more, God. Every way and every day, we want to love you more, God. Shikarabaya Ramaya Ranaya Ramaya We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I know that you love me so. And I love your word that tells me to you I belong. Though I am weak and you are strong, your hands so big, they carry me. Though I am weak, you are strong Your hands so big, they carry me as true You love me so much You, you love me so True, you love me so much My heart just overflows True, you love me so much True, you love me so True, you love me so much My heart just overflows My heart just overflows My heart just overflows Let's pray, Jesus, fill our, our heart with your love, your spirit. We want to love you more, God, every way and every day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hello, Eagle Kids. Hi, this is Miss Abigail again. Nice to see you all. Were you waiting for Miss Abigail to say something just now? Hmm. Wait a minute. Miss Abigail did not forget what to say, but actually, Miss Abigail was trying to let all of you who's watching this to wait patiently. So, as you can guess, today our topic is about being patient. Now, I'm sure that all of you have encountered a traffic light before, right? This is how a traffic light looks like. Well, do you know what's the function of a traffic light? Yes, a traffic light is used to manage the traffic on the road so that everything went well. So that all the vehicles on the street will be safe and sound and nobody will get hurt but very often enough that is not the case well there are still pretty much traffic accidents happening everywhere even in Indonesia and outside of Indonesia let's say there's red light green light and yellow light on the traffic light and when it's supposed to be red light what should we do? As a driver, we should stop, right? But what happens sometimes is that the driver would not stop and instead the driver will speed up vroom, so that the driver doesn't have to wait for the light to turn green. Why? Because the driver is not patient. So as a result, driver could get into a traffic accident by hitting 
another vehicle or bump into something that will hurt the driver. And in our everyday lives, we also often encounter rules or signs that reminds us how to be patient. For example, when we're in school, we're being taught about how to line up or queue up patiently while waiting for our turn to come out or come into our classroom. Or maybe when we are at a restaurant, after we order the food, we saw the person next to us are actually enjoying their meals and we are so hungry. And so when we ask the waiter, where's my food? Maybe the waiter might ask us to wait patiently for our food. Or maybe when we're at home, we can also learn to be patient while waiting for our sister or our brother who's using the toilet to shower. Maybe it's time for us to take a bath, but there are times when we have to share the bathroom, right? Now, in Psalm 16 verse 32, the Bible tells us that whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. In short, the Bible is trying to tell us that a person who is patient is greater than a superhero. <gasps> really, Miss Abby? Yes, it is. The Bible is trying to tell us that whoever is capable of being patient, that person will be greater than a superhero who is strong on the outside and can defeat the enemies. But a patient, a patient person who can control themselves is strong on the inside as well. So let's learn how to be patient enough so that we will not cause any harm or any losses for the people around us. For example, maybe if there's some of us who like to scream loudly at our brother or sister. Or maybe we just scream loudly because we can't get something that we want. What would happen to the people around us? Think about it. First, our older sister or our older brother or our younger siblings might not be able to focus to do their homework. Why? Because it's noisy, right? Who likes to hear noisy sound? Hmm, definitely not Miss Abby. And not to mention our parents. Maybe our mom and dad already had a long day at work. So when they came home, they need peace. They need a quiet time to rest and to recharge. But when we scream loudly, they are not going to be able to rest and instead they are going to lose their peace and we, would, we wouldn't want them to lose their peace and not being able to rest, right? If they can't rest, they might get sick or they might be in a bad mood and in the end, we cause the people around us to suffer and that is what happened to a person who is not patient. What if we are mad and we immediately vent out our anger? Then we are acting like a can of soda. Now, imagine Miss Abby is picking up a can of soda. Oh, before I open up the tap, let's imagine that I'm shaking this bottle of can. And you know inside the can, there's a lot of gas. And when you shake up this can, it's going to produce something that when we open up the can, it's going to what? That's right, it's going to explode. It's going to get messy. It's going to make a big mess on the floor. And it's going to create trouble for our parents or our helper, or our siblings, or our teacher to clean up for us. So, a person who is not patient enough is like a can of exploding soda. 
we will be the one who create a mess. And worse still, what if we commit a sin that causes God to be sad, to be displeased because of our foolish action? Then in the end, we're not only going to hurt other people, but we're also going to hurt God in the process of being impatient. That's why the Word of God is teaching us today on how to have great patience. So let's say together, let's be patient. One more time, let's be patient. How do we be patient? Well, we can seek the guidance from the Holy Spirit to help us on how to be patient. When we learn to be patient and when we become more and more patient, abundant blessings will wait on us. So, what kind of blessings will we get to see when we become more patient? Let's take a look in this Bible story today. In 1 Samuel 13, verse 1 to 22, this story is about Saul's disobedience. The Israelites become afraid and panic. For they had heard that there are about 3,000 chariots, 6,000 horsemen and troops walking on feet that are like the sand on the seashore in multitude that's about to attack them. The Philistines came and they encamped at Mishmash to the east of Beth Avon and were ready to attack the Israelites at any given time. In such a desperate situation, the seemingly helpless Israelites chose to run away and hid themselves in caves, in holes, in rocks, in tombs, and in cisterns, and some even went as far as the cross, the forts of Jordan, to the land of God and Gilead. Saul was still at Gilgal. And all the people who followed him were trembling. Instead of turning to the Lord, King Saul allowed himself to live in great fear. And soon, he became confused and panicked. And all the people who followed him also trembled in fear. Instead of calming them down, King Saul made hasty decisions that caused the people to live in great panic. Imagine being in such a dire situation. His people were scattering away and finally, he became less and less impatient. And he offered the burnt offering, which he shouldn't have done as a king because the only person who can and should have burned the offering is Prophet Samuel. King Saul waited for seven days, which is the time appointed by Prophet Samuel. And at the end, King Saul acted like a prophet, even though he wasn't one and offered to burn the offering, to burn the sacrifice to the Lord when he shouldn't be doing that. King Saul was acting carelessly and was not patient, which led him to making such a huge mess for the Israelites. Due to his foolish act, Prophet Samuel explained, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the command of the Lord your God, with which he commanded you. For then the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought a man after his own heart, and the Lord has commanded he, him to be prince over his people, because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. If only King Saul had listened and obeyed to God, if only he was patient enough to wait for Prophet Samuel, maybe such a tragic happening would not be written in the Bible. Maybe the Israelites would not have to experience defeat for what they have experienced according to the story. 
Maybe if King Saul was patient enough, he wouldn't have lost God's favor, and that resulted in him being replaced by David, as we know in the second part of the story. So, you see, Eagle Kids, when a king acted foolishly and impatiently, it brings a big, big mistake. So one day, if we're going to be in the same position, we're going to be in a leadership position. We have to remember that if we're not patient enough, we might cause the people around us, the people whom we lead, to also suffer at a bigger cost. So impatience could lead to bigger faults. Let's say together: impatience could lead to. Bigger faults. Remember, uncontrolled anger will only lead us to regret. Uncontrolled anger will only lead us to regret. Our anger will not lead us to anything that benefits us, but instead, it makes us suffer losses. And worse still, look at what happened to King Saul. He lost his throne, something that God had given him, and now he has to lose it because of his foolish choice of not being impatient at one particular moment. So, in Ecclesiastes ten verse four, the Bible also tells us that for calmness will lead great offenses to rest. When we are calm in our spirit. Even when we are tempted to commit great offenses, great sin, something that is very, very bad, it will cause us to rest. The case will rest. That means the case will close. There will no longer be a continuation of bigger faults. But the problem will just stop because we have a change in our heart. When we become more patient. God will make everything around us to rest. And the second blessing that we can await from God when we learn how to be patient is to be able to trust in God and others. To be able to trust in God and others. Now, Miss Abby is going to tell you something by using an object. Patience. It's like a process. It's like a cup of tea. If you want to make tea with just the tea bag, with some sugar, I'm not sure if you can see this, but Miss Abby put some sugar underneath, and if we put some ice, and let's see. I'm going to pour this water into this cup of tea. Oops. I made some mess, but it's all right. I'm going to clean up the mess after this. Let's stir it a bit. Hmm. Did you notice something? Let's take a closer look. Can you see that? Hmm. It's weird, right? The color doesn't seem to change much. I was hoping that when I pour the water into this cup, the color of the tea would change immediately, but it still doesn't change much. Let me try to take a sip. Hmm, I can't seem to take any taste of the tea. Why? Because to make a cup of tea, it needs a process. We have to. First, put the ingredients in a cup of tea, sugar, and a tea bag, and we have to use the correct temperature of water, which is hot water. Let's try to pour it in and see if the color will change much quicker. Now I'm going to stir, stir, stir. Let's take a look. Wow, Eagle Kids! Look, the color changed almost instantly. 
Can you see that? Now, Miss Abby is going to take the same cup earlier. Let's compare the color. Hmm, it's not the same. This is the cup with the hot water, and this is the cup with the cold water. Now, as you can see earlier, Miss Abby mixed the hot water and it takes a process for a cup of plain water to become a cup of tea. And Miss Abby will have to be patient enough to wait for the water to turn into a cup of tea. Well, I can also learn to be patient for this cup of cold water to turn into tea but what might happen possibly is that the colour won't change much after this it will still remain the same even after 10 hours or even after 24 hours why? because I used the wrong ingredient I used cold water which doesn't release the colour of the tea from the tea bag and release it into the cup of cold water. So if we are not patient, it's like putting a cup of cold water into the tea. And if we are patient, it's like putting a cup of hot water into the tea bag and the sugar and we can enjoy the sweetness and the scent of the beautiful tea. So I hope, Miss Abby hope that we can all learn to be patient so that when we become patient, the people around us can enjoy the scent of what a child of God should smell and taste like. If we are patient, as patient as we can be, we can also learn to receive trust from the people around us. A patient child would be able to listen well to the instructions of his or her parents and will be well loved by others whom the child listens to since they are able to control themselves. Now, due to King Saul's disobedience and impatience, Prophet Samuel got mad and God was not very pleased with him. So in the end, he was overthrown by David. He could no longer gain trust from God, from Prophet Samuel and from other people, the Israelites. So when he was impatient, he's like this cup of cold water that loses trust from God and the people around him. But imagine Abraham. Abraham was known as a person with faith. Abraham was able to wait upon the Lord. He was able to wait patiently for one child. And you know what? After that, God not only trusted him with one child, but God entrusted him with the whole generations to come until today, as were all the offspring of Abraham. With patience, we can wait upon God's promise to be fulfilled in our lives. Actually, God really likes it when all of us are being patient and we can wait for our turn. And God will prepare many abundant blessings when we are learning how to be patient with the people around us and being patient or waiting for God's promise to be fulfilled in our lives. For example, when we want to be patient in taking turns to use our gadgets or our smartphone, when we learn how to put away the phone after we use because we are patient, we trust our mommy and daddy that the moment we put down our phone, we can be patient and wait for the next time, the next day, when our mom and dad give us the phone again to play for the next 20, 30 minutes or so, our mom and dad will trust us even more because they know that after a certain time, we will put it back to where it belongs, we are responsible. So next time they are going to entrust us, maybe they will extend it to 40 minutes, they will give us another extra 15 minutes to use the phone. 
or maybe when we treat our toys gently we treat the things that we use gently with great patience then maybe our parents are going to observe and see that oh you are being very patient with the tools that you use hmm I'm going to be able to trust that you will take care of the next new toy or the next tool that we're going to get for you. Or maybe even when next time when we're older enough and we do project with our friends, maybe some of us, we often come late to report to our friends and we always forget to bring certain stationaries or books or even our notes to do the project but imagine if we are being patient with our friend and we always wait for them and if we are willing to be patient enough to wait for them to bring all their tools to seek help and they will trust that we will be able to be a good teammate to do a project and our friends are going to entrust us to maybe to be the leader of the project team so there's a lot of ways for us to learn to be patient but all in all a patient person can be trusted not just to be a leader but also to be someone great in the future to be used by God in the most amazing way do you want to be an amazing person well if there's someone next to you tell the person next to you say you are a hero you are amazing let Kaabi reminds you again in Psalm 16 verse 32 it says that he who rules his spirit is greater than he who takes a city if you are patient enough then you will be greater than any superhero let's close in prayer dear heavenly father we thank you today for such a wonderful message and we know that you are the most patient in our life you have always been patient ever since we walked with you even way before lord you were patient on the cross you were patient with every single sinner i pray that god today you will impart your patient heart to every eagle kiss while watching this right now i pray that god you will mold our heart shape our heart so that we can be patient even to the most annoying person we might find in the future i pray that you will help us to be patient at every moment every hour so that we will not be someone who is impatient and causes harm and losses to the people around us and i pray that god as we learn to be more patient we can learn to know more about your heart we can learn to know more about who you are in our lives and that we can share we can show to people about who god is because we reflect one of the most provident most prevalent character of jesus and that is a patient god eagle kids raise up your hand and receive this blessing may the blessing of the father the sun and the spirit be all around you upon you beneath you beside you and envelops you may the blessing of god be in all areas of your life in your studies in your family in your friendship in your school and ministry in all relationships and may you find joy love peace throughout the whole week and throughout all days of your life receive this in the name of jesus everybody say amen happy sunday see you next time god bless you
Where's the, the other bread? Did you just <laughs> eat it? Uh, it's already inside my tummy. But it's delicious, you know. You should try. Pipi, your dad asked you to wait. Why don't you be patient? But I'm already hungry. And I've been starving oh, for baby. this since yesterday. I'm home. Why only one bread left here? Uh, 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 actually, Dad, uh, I finished it all because I was so hungry and and I've been starving for this bread since yesterday. Hmm, Pipi, you couldn't wait, right? Look. I've bought some chocolate spread to make it even tastier. No, Dad, why didn't you say it? I love chocolate spread. <laughs> Pee -pee, it's because you don't be patient, Pee -pee. Why just you wait? You will get the chocolate spread. So it's because I'm not patient, so yeah. I cannot taste this. Oh, no. Uncle, yes? can I have this one? Of course. No. <laughs> For me. That's why we have to be patient in everything. For those who are patient, avoid loss or great mistakes. If we are patient, we can also become people who are trusted. Let's be patient. Say it with me. Let's, Let's be, be patient. patient. Let us do it one more time then. Let's, Let's be patient. patient. Okay, Dad. Next time, I will be more patient then. Um, but don't worry. I will share this spread to you with a <gasps> chocolate spread. What? Really? Yes. Thank you, G. You're welcome. But before we eat, we should say goodbye to our friends. Oh, okay. Bye, friends. See you next week. God bless you. God bless Bye. you. God bless you.